Say hello to our friend Stacy. Hi. <laughs> I'm awkward. She's our little guest vlogger today. She's not going to say much because uh, I'm awkward. <laughs> but she's going to sit there, so enjoy. I will soothe your pain. I will ease your strain. I got nothing for you to gain. I said. Weekend in Atlanta, there's the Salute to Twilight uh, convention that's going on. It seems like Peter Facinelli and Billy Burke are scheduled to appear, as well as the Mitch Hansen Band will be playing the concert on Friday night at 10.30. Also on Saturday, um, Peter Facinelli is going to be in Charleston, West Virginia at the Charleston Town Center Mall. He will be signing autographs for $25, pictures for $40 to uh, they've chosen Twilight as their pretty much book of the month to get get kids reading again. And it's focused all towards um, promoting literacy. Um, we're gonna put a link to the Charleston Town Center information um, so that you can check it out if you're in the area. It's Saturday, I believe, at 11 when it starts, but um, I'm not positive on that. So check out the link so you'll know exactly when to be there and get his autograph. Question of the day yesterday was, who is your favorite author other than Stephanie Meyer? I told you you could put as many as you wanted, and a lot of our viewers put multiple names, and that is totally cool, because we have plenty of authors that we love just as much as Stephanie Meyer, too. Amy, who are some of your favorite authors other than Stephanie Meyer? Nora Roberts, Stephanie Lawrence, Catherine Coulter, Johanna Lindsay, Jenna Peterson, J.K. Rowling, obviously. But yeah, yeah, no, really, those those are mostly it. Um, I I have a lot of their series, and basically they take up all of the book stand in my bedroom. Hey, Stacy, you hear some of your favorite authors that you like to read? Um, Nicholas Sparks. You're gonna make fun of me, but right now, Tori Spelling. Fair. Yeah, it's a guilty pleasure. I'm reading one of her books. That's okay. That's okay. I'm I'm okay with it. Is it good? Yeah, pretty much. It's talking about her being a mom and trying to, like, be a realistic mom. Like, a real mom, not Hollywood. It's pretty cool. Cool. And Susie? Okay. <laughs> it's going to be a big list. I enjoy Stephen King, Chuck Palahniuk, Gregory Maguire, J.K. Rowling, um, Catherine Dunn, Bruce Coville. Oh, and Nora Roberts. And what's her name that does the, uh... The Morganville Vampire Series. Uh, Rachel Kane. Rochelle Mead does Rich the Vampire Academy. Who wrote The Outsiders? Who wrote The Outsiders? Uh, one of our one of our viewers actually uh, said that they loved uh, The Outsiders. So. My favorite book of all time. I've read it probably about 50 times. Not seen. So we're scheduling or anything. Yeah, no. Totally cool. The reason why we had um, that day of the question yesterday was because me and Susie are going to be traveling tomorrow morning to uh, Boonesboro, Maryland for a signing at Turn the Page Bookstore and Cafe, which is um, doing their 14th anniversary signing tomorrow. Uh, Nora Roberts and Stephanie Lawrence, as well as other authors, I don't know them off the top of my head, um, are going to be there. There's about six of them who are going to be doing a signing on Saturday. And we're traveling there, and we're going to meet a whole bunch of other Nora Roberts fans, and we got a whole bunch of stuff going, and we're going to play paintball and do go-karts, I think, too. I'm really excited mm -hmm. about that. And do not worry. We are taking our beautiful Pocket Edward and Pocket Bella and Jacob with us. Because, and Stacy is laughing at us because she thinks we're weird. No, but it's not. No, they're already packed up in their own suitcase. Exactly. Oh, yes, show them. So okay. We figure they deserve their own travel case. So, they, so do I... Yeah. Do I latch it? Oh, like that. Okay. So they're traveling in style. Granted, 70s porn style, but style nonetheless. It's a Cuban cigar! <laughs> Box. There goes the unicorn. <laughs> anyway, okay. it's, it, it is. This used to hold crack. We smoked it all. 
we're going to um, do some traveling, take some pictures. We've got our digital camera. We're taking our laptop with us. We're going to try to get a video out to you guys tomorrow. Um, and we don't know if we're going to be able to do it because, you know, our schedule's kind of tight, but we're going to try. And it may not have anything to do with Twilight at that point. Yeah, and there is wireless in the hotel, so if, if anything, we'll at least make short videos and we'll splice them all together, put them on here as sort of our weekend thing, and put them on the blog as well to share with you all. Now, if you haven't checked out the blog, go on over and check it out. Thank you so much to the 300 plus people who have checked it out in the last two weeks. Ooh. So excited. Ooh. And I'm glad you guys are liking what we're doing. Thank you so much. For safety. Since Stacy is one of our besties, we thought that we would let her pick today's question of the day. If you had a child and had to give it to one of the Twilight characters, who would you choose and why? I really like that question. Me too, too, Jane. She creeps me out. <laughs> People are probably going to choose Jane just because you said that. No. <laughs> so, till tomorrow, be, be safe. safe.